we've been a little bit busy lately. Why? Well, we're building a van. We need to get on the road. So basically today I'm going to try and finish the window frame and mount the uh, blind properly and try and see if we can get that to work how it should. Um, I have a little bit of time this afternoon so I thought I'd get crack on with that. I built this the other night, um, reinforced that and, and put the brackets up to mount the where the, where the blinds are going to be mounted and now today I've just got to basically build the end of the frame here and the end of the frame there um, and then just put all the piece finishing off pieces like we bought some angle uh, just to close it off and make it look pretty um, and then we bought edge strips for here so I can connect all that up um, and then I don't know if if we've got to paint this or not but we just haven't quite decided <laughs> so i'm just standing here by the heater because i am freezing christopher made me go outside and do some ceiling so i'm standing by the heater trying to warm up my feet uh, going to finish off the shower door and then i'm going to paint the window ceiling as well so we came in this morning and everything was super solid so we're very happy with that um yeah, so all these pieces are like really solid and they're definitely not going anywhere. Um, so that's really good. The only piece that is left behind is this because obviously we still have to put our, um, our blind in. So hopefully that'll work. And then our pieces on the inside, I mean, it's not pretty, but they did stay there. And then obviously I've just got a little bit of ceiling to do on the inside there before I paint. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's definitely not going anywhere, so that's cool. And then like I said, we're going to finish off the door today. So we're going to go have a look at a couple mirrors because I want to have a mirror on the front door so it just makes it feel, when the door's closed, that it just feels a little bit more open. to just come back with this because they didn't have any stock and no doors so or no plywood for that matter I plywood, yeah, we didn't get any plywood. um so tomorrow we'll have to go to the lumber yard timber yard whatever you call it the place that sells wood and we will go get some and plywood get a thing and the truth mm -hmm. will the blind fit <laughs> look how close this is guys this is pretty close yeah like literally check it just fit wait let me see you had to oh you didn't have to push it oh it's no, it just does, but, uh, it just makes it so then we'll just sit there behind like that and there's a little lever that comes here that you pull on when you pull it down so it'll be quite neat i think yeah. got a normal ikea blind um but it's spring loaded so there's no wires or, or ropes that you have to pull because he thought when you're driving down the road you don't want to hear the rope going ting 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 all the time and irritating you <laughs> or even those metal blinds ding, 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 yeah ding, so we thought this would probably be the better option and then this is also insulated so we've got insulation on the window being honeycomb it keeps more heat in as well so i'm just going to get cracking now on the painting We're painting it white because we thought um it will just look brighter and by the time I put my cushions and everything on here it will just pop a little bit more rather than just having wood we do have a wood ceiling which we really love and I think we're just going to keep that as a feature rather um either way I think it would still look nice but if we painted white it'll pop okay, don't forget to mask the window because you know I know you've seen your painting my painting is beautiful over painting <laughs> my painting is beautiful painting the I don't lines. know what you want about I always color in the lines do a jack moment there.
Hey, welcome back guys. Okay, so last night we finished up painting the wall and we've pretty much finished the blind. We got it in, we got it working. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how it functions. Um, it's looking pretty good, but we still need to do one little last touch of paint. And we stuff. still need to put in this little finishing off strip and now like Christopher says, we, need, we do need to do another coat of paint. But it is Christopher's birthday on the 24th and it is Christmas on the 25th. So this is where we're going to end off with a little bit of van build for the next couple of days. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll sneak some in between Christmas and New Year, but yeah, at least we are prepared. We bought a whole bunch of wood um, and we've got all the stuff for the shower door, which we had our hopes of finishing, but just didn't get around to it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we still, we're also going to probably repurpose the mirror that we already have, um, just so it doesn't go to waste, because when we hit the road, obviously we're going to get rid of all that stuff, so no. very oh. exciting. Um, <laughs> But anyway, yeah. this is um, where we're going to leave you. I've got all dressed up for the occasion. I've got my little elf socks on. We've got ourselves a cute little Christmas tree. This is how we're celebrating Christmas this year. Yeah, um, tiny tree, tiny living. So yeah, Merry <laughs> Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas, guys. We hope that you have a really good Christmas with your family. Even if you can't see your family this year, I'm pretty sure everyone will make a plan. Anyway, have a good one. This is where we're going to leave you. And we'll catch up with you guys soon.